So today we are solving a system of equations by elimination. And I've got two different systems of equations that we're going to solve today. And you'll notice they both have something in common. If you look at this first system of equation, we've got 2x plus 3y equals 31 and 6x minus 3y equals 9. Notice that they're both kind of in the same format where we've got the x's and y's on one side and a number on the other side. And same with the second system of equations. Negative 5x plus 9y equals negative 64. 5x minus 3y equals 28. Again, the x's and y's are on one side, the number's on the other side. But the thing that they have in common is, notice on the first set of equations, the y's have almost the exact same number in front of them. The top one has 3y, the bottom one has negative 3y. Over here, the x's almost have the exact same number in front of them. We've got negative 5x and positive 5x. You see, by having the same number in front of one of the variables, but one positive and one negative, we can do something called the elimination method, where in this case, what we can do is add the two equations together. Now, there's a reason why we're going to add them together. Because when I add the top equation with the bottom equation, notice I get 2x plus 6x gets me 8x. But when we add the y's, 3y plus negative 3y, we get no y's. Drop down my equals, and on the other side, 31 plus 9, 40. You see, by adding the two equations together, we've completely eliminated the y's from the equation. And that's why it's called the elimination method. Because in this method, by adding them together, we eliminate one of the variables, and now we can solve for the other one. All right, so now we need to solve for x. We've got 8x equals 40. I'm going to divide both sides by 8. When I do that, I end up getting x equals 5. And now I've gotten the x value for the system of equations. All right, now, to figure out what y is, what I've got to do is take my x value and put it back into one of my original equations. I'm going to take the top one since it's all positive numbers there. So we've got 2 times instead of x, 2 times 5, plus the 3y has to equal 31. All right, it's going to take a little math to do this one, but 2 times 5 is 10. And to get y, I have one more algebra equation to solve. So I'm going to subtract 10 on both sides. I end up getting 3y is equal to 21. And then I'll divide by 3. I get y equals 7. And I've just solved the system of equations. My final answer is x is 5, y is 7. All right. Now, we could have used either equation to figure out what y is. Either one, when I plug 5 in for x, I will get 7 for y. All right, so I always say pick the easier equation. All right, let's do the second example because it's very similar, but we get a different result. So we've got our x's that match up this time. We've got a negative 5x and a positive 5x. So we're going to add the two equations together just like we did before because when we do that, notice negative 5x plus 5x gets us no x's. 9y plus negative 3y, that gets us 6y. Drop down my equals. Negative 64 plus 28 gets us negative 36. So again, because we have a negative 5x and a positive 5x, when we add them together, it completely eliminates the x's. So now we have an equation with just y's that we can solve. So let's do that. Divide both sides by 6, end up getting y equals negative 6. So we're halfway done. Now we just need to find x. So just like last time, now that I know one value, I can put it into one of the original equations and get the other one. All right. So I have a choice. I can use the top one or the bottom one. Mm, I'd say they're both equally complicated. I'll pick the bottom one. It's a little less I don't know, less complicated with the negatives in there. So I'll take the bottom one. 5 times instead of x, or 5x minus, instead of 3 times y, because we got y this time, we're going to substitute negative 6 in for y. 
and that should equal 28. All right, so simplifying this, this becomes 5x plus 18 equals 28. So one more algebra equation to figure out what that last variable is. I'm going to subtract 18 on both sides. I get 5x equals 10. Divide both sides by 5. I end up getting x equals 2. So I've just gotten my solution. x is 2. y is negative 6. And that's the solution to the system. All right. Now, one thing to point out in this method, this method of adding the two equations together only works because either the x's or the y's have the exact same number in front of them with one positive and one negative. All right. If these were different numbers, this method wouldn't work. Or if these were the same sign, if this was both positive 5x and positive 5x, we couldn't just add them together because it wouldn't eliminate our x's. The whole reason why we're adding them together is because by adding them together, it eliminates the x's, or in this case over here, eliminating the y's. All right, so this method works with only these very specific cases. Now, when you have different numbers in front, there are some tricks you can use to figure those out, but they do require an extra step. And I did put links down below in the description if you want to check those videos out. But hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.